Hey everyone, in the news this week, the Queen spent a night in hospital, and thus Meghan Markle's thoughts and prayers went out to herself. Then there's the Alec Baldwin story. I initially saw the headline and assumed that Hollywood were getting around to making another sequel in the Lethal Weapon franchise, then I read what actually happened. You know, personally I think that Alec Baldwin's a bit too old to be playing Oscar Pistorius, but perhaps it was a biopic about Phil Spector they were making. Then there's the death of Colin Pull. His death from Covid despite being vaccinated was thus the cause of the spread of misinformation that might end up killing people, so at least he died doing something he enjoyed, I guess. But for me, the bigger story this week was something I touched on a few weeks back, which is the slow and continuing deliberate sabotaging of the economy and society by governments and companies choosing to lay off thousands of critical staff, even when they're struggling to remain functional as it is. But hey, never underestimate the power of stupid people in large groups. One example is the city of Chicago, which is going down the route of preparing to lay off as many police officers as it takes in order to force compliance with stringent proof of vaccine laws. This is after the union encouraged its members not to comply with publicly sharing their medical records. Quite the standoff, I guess. The city is already an active war zone with close to 700 murders so far this year, close to 2,000 sexual assaults and several thousand non-fatal shootings. And yet Mayor Laurie Lightfoot's response is to lay off roughly 3,000 police officers and prepare to blame everyone else for when things inevitably fall apart. If this sounds a bit of a familiar story, it's probably because it's vaguely like the plot of Robocop, although the situation is actually so farcical you half expect to the cast of a different film, Police Academy, to show up. When it comes to poor decision making, the only way that things would try to get any worse would be if the gangs decided to take a lesson from history and construct a large wooden horse outside the city hall one night and see if they let them in through the front door. But if we're talking about horses, then let's just talk about bolting the stable door after the horse is bolted, because the city is now desperately asking neighbouring counties to lend them vaccinated members of staff, none of whom are apparently very keen to help out in what is an absolutely 100% political situation, when it could easily be corrected by just changing their mind about laying off half the police force. If any of those laid off police officers are after a new job, Though, while elsewhere in California, you can now get a six figure salary and a $15,000 sign on bonus if you want to be a lorry driver. Although, unlike in the UK, Yorkie bars are not as readily available to truckers in the Golden State. Hang on, a shortage of truck drivers? You know, I still find it strange that many people online seem to be obsessed over the idea that the driver shortage in the Holland industry is solely an issue in the UK and absolutely related to Brexit. America didn't vote to leave Europe after all, at least not since the 18th century. There are three pieces to California's woes. Covid is of course a contributing factor, whether it be a lack of hiring and training or companies simply laying off staff who don't want to get vaccinated. On top of this though, there's a green legislation which bans any trucks made prior to 2011. Never mind that tongue twister about red lorry, yellow lorry, because thanks to Governor Newsom, the only ones allowed are green lorries. On top of this, so yet another piece of the puzzle is a law called AB5, which prohibits owner-operators. This is the law they passed over there to force Uber to employ workers in the gig economy and force them to pay taxes on their earnings. But it's also now encouraging truckers to find tax-efficient work elsewhere in any of the other 49 states. You know, that's the thing about that line of work. It's pretty easy to move house when everyone you know, including yourself, happens to be a man with a van. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, please subscribe.